Hello everybody, I have an old typewriter, a Monica typewriter of 1921. It's a quite rare typewriter and it's considered to be the first German typewriter with the 4-row keyboard. It's in good working conditions, but it missed the button on the left shift for majuscules. It's a pity, because I'd like to complete this typewriter. I have many spare buttons, but I don't have a big button like this. I have two friends with a 3D printer and they also have the skills to use a 3D modeling software. It's not easy because you must know how to use the software to do the model. Then you have to check the orientation and the dimension of the model. Check if there are any problems in the sliced model and other issues. You can find the link to their channels in the description of the video with their wonderful works with 3D models. This is an intriguing idea because I have many typewriters with some parts missing and using a 3D printer could be an idea for repairing these typewriters. So I talked to them about my project of spare parts for typewriters and they were very happy about it. I gave them the shift button, taking it from the other side of the typewriter. That is the same of the missing one. Luckily this button is the same on many old typewriters. So I can use the same button made with the 3D printer on many other models of typewriters. We took the exact measures of the button. Then they prepared the 3D model. We decided to do a single version in one piece. And after setting the typewriter, it has been exciting when the printer started to print the button. I was curious to see the result. You see it is printing the base. Then the body of the button. And the basement. In total, it took less than 15 minutes to print. I thought it was necessary two or three trials, but at the first trial there was a satisfactory result. When this button was new, the side was silver color. My button is white, so I painted the button in silver. But in this typewriter, the silver color is well worn. Maybe it's not rusty, but it's near to be black. So I modified the color, giving it a shade of black. It has been quite easy to find a font matching the one on the button. But the typewriter and its keyboard show the sign of time and the button are not white. So we choose to print a picture of the button with the color matching better the real color of the button. I refined the button using a stencil and a very sharp cutter. Then I used the same method for doing the glass cover, using a sheet of plastic instead of the glass. I use a little of glue to fix the paper. And also on the glass. It's possible that uh, the glue will dirty a little the transparent plastic cover. But I want that the button shows the sign of time like the other buttons. I am very satisfied with this button. It matches also the color of the other buttons on the keyboard. I will use the same method for other spare parts. After this, me and my friends will print the missing lever on this old Marchant an electric calculator from 1928. Have a nice day.